Happy friends, I have a quick project share for you. This is a guest design for In Love Arts. And I use this really super cute pocket die. Um, and I also used in one of their other Halloween collections, this tiny little spider web. And I will have all the links down below in the description box. So if you are interested, you can purchase and don't forget to use my discount code. And I'll have that listed down below as well. So let me show you what I made. Now I used a mixture of the Echo Park Bewitch paper that I had left over. Like I had scraps left over. And this really worked out. And then I used a couple of my Bow Bunny leftover. So let me show you what I created. So I created these little tiny mini envelopes. And I thought they were so fun. And I can't remember, um, again, who who created these papers i'm thinking simple stories or something like that i apologize i wish I, I wish i could remember i'll have to go back and watch my video but anyway this is from the bewitched collection super cute and then also i used some um like a little um not a toothpick what do you want to call it uh shish kebab thing and then i went ahead and inked it with some yellow kind of pumpkin-y yellow color and then also I used some black lace that I had left over and then I also used the Bewitch Spiderweb paper and made this cute little broom witch's broom right here and then I have um, in rose gold paper I have this cute little spider web and then I have some little eyelash trim under here too and I just thought it turned out super cute so I was so obsessed with making the first one that I made three more and so I thought this one was really super cute. I used one of my jemmies from Michael's. And then again, I made another witch's broom with the um, spiderweb paper. And then here I used the Dollar Tree um, little stickers. And then with this one, I decided to make a tool um, broom. And that turned out okay. Um, it was really weird. After I cut it, it, it was very strange that it kind of crinkled up really well. But it looks like a crazy old witch's broom does it not <laughs> I think it turned out pretty good and then of course we have our little tags in here and I just thought that these would be cute little embellishments for the mini album I just made and then I used a little palmistry hand and made a little dangle right here on this on this one um, and then again this is another one of the Do uh, Dollar Tree owls again um, I didn't use eyelash trim on this one um, I thought I have a couple of them different so anyway let's go ahead and get started with a really quick quick super quick tutorial um if you're not interested in the tutorial of course you can turn it off now but i hope you stay and watch so what i did was is i cut this out twice and the only reason why i did that was because on the inside there was a uh, paper that i don't want uh, to see so as you can see they already have the little i don't know if you can see this because this is on black, but here, I'll show you with the die. Let me flip the die over. So it already has these little areas where you're supposed to fold the paper. So that was really nice that I don't have to score it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fold on both those lines. Sorry if I'm doing it way down here, but I like to use the edge of this to get those because I have fat fingers and it just does not work for me when I try it. I end up bending it instead of making it look right. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of get the other score lines ready. Okay. And then the cover. 
There we go. Okay. So I want to go ahead and round my edges. I just kind of like that look better. So I'm grabbing my We Are Memory Keepers edge rounder. And you could even use some of your fun die cut, die cut edge things and, you know, make it ruffled. Or you could actually use one of your uh, border punches. That would be fun too. Um, let me grab my glue right here. Go ahead and fold on those lines really good. Okay, and then I'm just going to add my glue. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold it in place. Grab my foam folder and I'm just going to burnish it in a little bit, see how it's popping up pretty quick. I'm using my wifey here. Got way too much glue going on, apparently. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and use my little edge right here. Let me make sure I can tuck this in here first. Or, you know what? I changed my mind. I'm going to lift that up. Okay, just add my glue on here. And then just butt it right up here to the inside of the pocket. And then add my glue here. And then just hold it. And hopefully it's going to work because, again, we've had nothing but rain for days. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I'm going to find some little tags that I want to add in here. Oh, I kind of like the happy haunting. But I also like this pumpkin. Kind of lighten it up a little bit. Um, let's see what else I have here. I have another little ghosty. I think I'm going to do this one. And this one, let me put this one back. And I'm going to round my corners. And I noticed that when I round my corners that they fit in the pocket better. I don't know why that is. But maybe you don't have to struggle with it, I suppose. So we'll do Boot Crew and the little pumpkin jack o lantern. And then, of course, I've already cut out one of these. And I can get out my eyelash trim. And just snip off a little piece. So I'm going to do the eyelash trim first. And I'm just going to kind of gently wad it up in my hand. Get my glue. Spread it out a little. I might clean that little pin off. Okay. And then I can glue on. Let me just add a little more glue on the edges so it doesn't lift. And this dries clear, so I'm not that worried about it. And I'll probably cover it up with something anyway. 
just going to press that down a little bit. And then let's see what I have for my, oh, I got a little witch's hat. That's cute. I also have a little bat. Maybe I could do the bat. It kind of goes with the paper. Oh, that's cute. Definitely the bat. We'll go with that. So I'm just going to do the middle part because it hangs over and I don't want people to have to like be like, oh, that's sticky. <laughs> So might add a little more glue on here. Glue gun would be better, in my honest opinion. You know, I'm not even lying. I just filled this glue up. I really did. It just likes to stick. Super cute. Little bat there. And then I don't know if I'm going to add a, maybe another owl. I think that's a little too much. Let's see the witch's hat. Oh, that's kind of cute. Maybe if I move this up a little higher. Yeah, I like that. Although I feel like I have a little too much, but you know what? We're going to go with it. And again, I'm just going to remove the bottom half. Super cute guys. See how easy that is to make a fun little embellishment. Um, Anyway, I hope you all have a wonderful and fabulous day, and I will be seeing you all very soon with some more tutorials. Um, and don't forget to visit In Love Arts, and I will have all the links in the description box below. Bye, guys.